All right, this is a uh, unboxing video for our Kuma Battle Cleavers. We had to send our first batch back because they were breaking apart. Reference the first video I posted. Improperly um, heat treated. Yeah, that's the only thing we can think of. Um, I sent them Cold Blade HQ and spoke with them as well as sending them emails. And uh, they responded promptly, sent me a packaging slip prepaid, and uh, all the knives' spines on the first knives were crooked, so I think that was evidence of a bad heat treat. Not positive. I asked them to please inspect these knives before they boxed them and sent them to see if uh, these spines were crooked as well. If they are, then I don't know. We'll find out. But uh, okay, here they are. They come in this box. It says Combat Ready Knives. And on the back it has this cool little thing, it says legal waiver, combat ready knives are designed to be used by military, law enforcement, security professionals. The blade on this knife is extremely sharp and mishandling or incorrect use may result in a serious injury or death. The responsibility of the buyer to investigate and comply with the laws and regulations of their particular locale. Watch your six. It's kind of cool. <clears throat> so here they are. Um... In all, honestly, the sheaths, not real happy with them. On the first knives, we had worn the sheaths for about an hour, um, give or take, maybe a half hour. And uh, the sheaths started pulling apart right here at this seam here. And also on the Velcro here, the Velcro stitching started coming off almost immediately. So, eh, it's okay. I would say trash it and pick up a Kydex sheath or make one. Um... They come wrapped in plastic. The blades are very sharp. At least on our last ones they were. So I'd be very careful in handling them because you will cut the crap out of yourself. And, awesome, these spines are straight. If you look down the spine of the knife, you can see it is actually straight. On our other ones, the spine came down, squiggled over, and then curved back. Not that drastically, but it was you tell. blatantly obvious. It was blatantly obvious. This grind line's straight. On our last one, right where the main bend was, which was right in this area here, um, the grind latch came down and then divoted down and went back up because the blade on the spine was crooked. So it just followed the grind of the steel. So, so far, looks pretty good. The knives, we got them in flat dark earth. They come in a, um, they come in a flat dark earth color, either black or OD green scales. Same same color blades or a variation of blade. It's uh, not a chisel tip design because it's ground on both sides, um, but it does give you that the chiseling ability, I guess. Um, but pretty sleek looking knife. I'm going to pull the other two out <clears throat> and inspect those as well. The other knife. I'll try your recording, dude. It's on you. I'm paying attention. I just want to look at the knife. <laughs> I know we were so stoked to get them the first time and then kind of upset that they weren't, uh. Kind of depressed. Yeah, very depressed, actually. Thought they weren't. Up to par. Yeah. If you have any. If you're not sure what we're talking about, refer to the previous this spine video. It is a little bit crooked. If you look down the spine on this one, you can actually see a little bit. There's a hair off. Right in here. Mm -hmm. Not nearly as bad as the first knives. You can see how the grind line grind is back, off. goes down a little bit. We'll find out soon if this knife is going to be Hit messed up or not. Minus the game music. Uh, yeah, the grind so line is messed up. This grind up a line bit. is messed up. This blade is crooked a little bit. So we'll find out. Later, if this knife it has a messed up heat treat or not, because um, we will abuse, we will abuse it. And by abuse, I mean we'll cut pine trees with it, like we did before. That's how we're going to start out. Before, all we did was cut some pine trees for about an hour, and uh, we're breaking them off in chunks. So, <clears throat> all three of our knives. And here's the third one. I bought one a couple days later. My brothers both liked them so much, they each bought one. Grind line looks a little bit off on this one too. I'm assuming, yeah, that one is too. 
the spine of the knife is actually a little bit crooked on that so one too. Look, you can see it. Just right here. You have to get closer than that. You can see it, trust me. Let's see if I can... Yeah, right there. And in turn, the grind line on the blade is a little bit off right there. I can't see because the light. Yeah, the glare. Oh, right there. If you're looking down it. But, um... I don't know. We'll uh, post the video as soon as we get these things in the woods, which will hopefully be this weekend. But there they are, the Kuma ready, or combat ready Kuma battle cleaver.